Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Timbers Bison. I know it's been just a little bit, it's been a minute or two, but um, we've been really busy. Um, we're in the grind of football season. We're getting down to just a couple more games left and hopefully make playoffs. Um, that's what we're shooting for. Uh, but as you can tell here, um, it is hay season. Um, in one of my videos you saw where we um, cut this hay right out here in one of our own pastures. We got 33 bales of hay as the first time that we were able to um, get some hay out of our own pasture. And so that's good. We don't have to go buy any or we don't have to go find any from, from any other um, producers, uh, but we've harvested our own hay right here. Um, so today um, I'm going to uh, get a bale of hay and we are going to feed the bison. Now, this is not just, you know, just giving them hay and feeding them like, like we do in our corral where we feed them grain and whatnot, but this is different. These bison get so excited when they have hay. When there's this big bale of hay out there, which these are, these are decent sized bales of hay, um, they get super excited. They rough this thing up. They get in a fight with it. They rub on it. They scratch it. And, and then of course they'll eat it. But, um, it's just kind of a different thing. I know you're like, Hey, what's, what's this? It's just a bale of hay, right? They're just going to eat it. Wait until you see what these bison do when they get their first bale of hay. So one of the things that we're going to do today is we are going to give the bison their very first bale of hay. Uh, the grass is finally starting to die. Um, we found we we had a really really close to a a frost or a freeze last week. Uh, we finally are getting those fall temperatures that we love here in Oklahoma. It's it's beautiful. I mean it's 70 something degrees and it's just absolutely beautiful here in southern Oklahoma but we finally got some cool weather um, and the unfortunate part about that is <clears throat> excuse me once you get that frost uh, once you get one of those first freezes uh, that grass starts to die um, we've been really lucky because we've had good rain over, rain over the summer and now that the um, it's cold enough the grass is starting to die so what that means is we pick up the feed a little bit um, uh, we, we've got to get uh, keep some weight on them and so we're gonna feed them a little bit more um, of some of our grain stuff um, and then we will um, give them some hay so what we're gonna use to give the bison this hay is we're gonna use my little single bell hay hauler this thing is handy it I bought it last year once I got the bison and I needed it in the winter time to haul hay um, but this year we're really lucky because we bailed um, one of our hay pastures for the first time ever and we got 33 bales of hay um, this summer in late July. A lot of natural grass, some Johnson grass in there. But now that we've got our own hay, which is over there, um, we don't have to go very far. Anyways, I've got this little single hay bale hauler. It's, it's pretty neat, got it on the farm truck here. And uh, it's a... Uh, it's battery operated. I, I went and bought a car battery and it's all for remote control. Let's take a look. All right, so what we have here is a um, battery operated um, lifter, hay bale lifter and um, uh, single bale hauler, whatever you want to call it, whatever the name is for it. I don't, I don't care as long as it hauls the bales of hay for me and lifts them up. But uh, this little um, battery operated one is pretty awesome. We got the remote control here in and out, um, I can see it, there we go. But this thing works pretty well. Um, luckily we don't have to take our bills very far, but this is, uh, this is pretty handy to, to, to get these uh, hay bills moved around for the bison.
Okay, so you saw me take the, the string off uh, or the wrap. Um, here in southern Oklahoma, um, you, you, you won't see a lot of completely wrapped bales of hay. Um, we just don't have a lot of problems with mold um, necessarily here that much. Um, so we just use these normal wraps. Um, however, you have to get these completely off the bales of hay. You, you can't have any strings left over. Um, this can be really dangerous. Um, it's great because it, it, it holds these big bales of hay together. However, um, if this stuff gets consumed or gets in a cow, a goat, a sheep, um, or, or our bison, um, this thing can get wrapped up in their intestines and can kill um, you know, any type of livestock really quick. So um, you really gotta make sure that you get all of this string or this wrap. You really have to get this thing out of that bale of hay. No extra strings uh, um, on this at all. Make sure you get everything. We don't wanna have any issues because if, if while they're grazing this hay, um, they'll just accidentally take this and once it goes in their system um, you're gonna have some some issues so make sure you gotta get all this out of there so there it is right there the first bell of hay for the bison this year they'll come over here and and they'll the bull he'll he'll beat this he'll beat this thing up it's kind of like a big toy for him to 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 beat around on and uh, they'll rub on it and and, and scratch on it and obviously eat it they love hay and it's good roughage for them uh, for them to have and the, the good thing about this <clears throat> excuse me this hay is it came straight from um, this land here straight from this farm and this is this stuff is just gonna go right back into the earth and the cycle continues for us and the bison do a great job of that um, just like they've done for for hundreds of years so hey guys um wife and i got the bill of hay set out the bison are way down in the bottom of our pasture. So we're gonna go ahead and drive down there, check on them and see if we can get them rounded up and to come up here with us and, and let them know, hey, you got your first bell of hay of the year and see, see how they respond to that. I've got my body cam here just have my GoPro attached to uh, to my chest here just to kind of free up my hands a little bit and I'm still get some some filming done
Hey guys. You guys ready for some hay? Come on. Come on! Here they come! Keep going! Speed up a little bit! Come on! Maya, come on. Just stop at the gate. That's good right there, hon. She just tried to jump over it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just completely whiffed. Just when I didn't think anything would be going on, I turned my back. The bison run in because we fed them. Um, but Eleanor just tried to jump over the bell of hay. I'm so sorry I missed it. I may have got her just laying down right here after because she just completely tried to jump over it, on it. I'm not sure. She was really excited because we got their first bell of hay. Uh, and then she just fell right here next to it. So. Um, Gosh, I wish you guys could have seen that. That's crazy. As you can tell here, already destroyed. You saw what the bull just did. They get pumped whenever um, they get the hay in here. And you can see the first thing they want to do is not come up and eat it like you think they would. No, they want to hit it, rub up against it, beat it up. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. It's fun to watch these bison, um, you know, get excited about something and just like us going down in the pasture, kind of rounding them up, checking on them, making sure everything is good, and then uh, trying to get them to come up to the corral where we keep our bales of hay. And you can see the excitement of them following us up the pasture and uh, and, and running and stuff. It, it's so fun to watch them just, just run. And uh, it, these are majestic animals, and, and when they get to running like that, you know, it, it's really fun to, to see them run. But... Um, they're all doing great. The calves are getting so big. And, uh, you know, it's that time of the year. Leaves are going to start falling. And uh, a cool weather. 
it's been gorgeous. We love this time of the year in Oklahoma. And, uh, you know, it's just a fun time right now. And, and I think the bison are feeling good. And, and they love their cold weather. They're ready for that cold weather uh, to settle in and that, and that heat to escape. Because uh, you guys know that, um, or if you don't know, bison love cold weather. And they, uh, they face the storm when it hits. So, But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Got some exciting stuff. Our alley's being built. So that's really good. And uh, down in Texas, and um, we'll head down there in probably a month or so to uh, to get our alley. Uh, and then as far as our shoot goes, um, we're gonna get a shoot that's located um, here in our state of Oklahoma. Um, and then we're gonna get this thing cleared off and get our, get our handling system all set up and uh, everything will be good to go. And um, the sale's coming up November 2nd. If you're around in Oklahoma, uh, plan on coming to that. It, it's a show. Um, right now, we've got about 150 bison that are supposed to be there. And so if you're around or, or close, come to the sale. It's pretty fun. If you need any more information, get in contact with me, and I'll let you know uh, times and, and all that good stuff. So thank you, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, keep following Cross Timbers Bison. Thank you, guys.